Although this clip showing Bluetooth water is CGI, this fountain I made is 100% real. How does it work? Well, first you have to modify some of the source code to get past the law of mass conservation. Just kidding, this fountain doesn't violate any universal laws, but you should be able to tell it's not free falling water just by looking at the shape of the stream. Just like when balls drop, water accelerates due to gravity, meaning the water at the bottom is faster than the top. Therefore, the diameter of this circular stream can't be constant as it looks here. To see why, imagine that you're tracking how much water passes through this cross section at the top in one second. Perhaps it's this much. If you know the water is moving faster at the bottom, but you're assuming the same cross-sectional area, that would mean more water is passing through at the bottom. You can't just generate water out of nowhere, which is why the cross-sectional area is instead smaller, and the total volume of water passing through each area per second is the same.